Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix Resident Evil 2 Fatal Application Exit Error. This is how it looks like if you're having this problem. We're going to fix it together. So, first of all, you want to make sure that your Windows operating system is up to date and drivers too. So, first of all, open up your uh, settings, then uh, Windows Update and check for updates. If there's any, make sure to download and install them. Uh, and also open up your um, graphics. For example, I'm using NVIDIA, NVIDIA app. If you're having uh, AMD, then open up AMD and check the drivers. If there's any drivers update uh, available, you want to go ahead and download it and check the, if the problem persists. Another thing you want to try out is verify integrity of game files. Now, if you're using Resident Evil on Steam, you're going to open Steam and uh, find Resident Evil. Uh, right click on it, uh, go ahead, properties, installed files, and verify integrity of game files. If you are using Xbox like I do, then you're gonna go on Resident Evil 2, uh, click three dots, manage files, and then verify and repair. Uh, after you will do that, make sure to just see if the problem persists or not. If the problem still persists, you want to open up your um, Resident Evil files so I'm just gonna go and browse here on my Xbox uh, you can do the same on Steam too uh, after that you want to find a configuration a file config file basically so it for me it would be here on content and then scroll down until you will see um, Resident Evil 2 config INI file now first of all you want to try to delete it just go ahead and delete it. After you do that, you want to see if the problem persists or not. Just go ahead and uh, launch the game. If it's still there, then you want to open up this file on a notepad. And once you are here on the notepad, you want to go ahead and find uh, under render option PC resolution. So here it is, PC resolution. And PC resolution should be set to 12, just like so. Uh, after that, save it, uh, and uh, once the game is able to be opened, then you can go ahead and edit it again to zero and see if the problem uh, was fixed. Now, on the same file, uh, you also want to go ahead and um, change DirectX uh, 11 to direct x12 for me it's already there but basically target platform you want to change it to direct x12 and here too just make sure to check if it's already to x12 and the last thing you can try out is go ahead and check your graphics settings so open up your system then find graphics or just go ahead and write on search graphics settings uh, from here, you want to make sure that on advanced graphic settings, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is on. If it's on, uh, then it's great. And now you want to find here Resident Evil. And once you will find it, basically just click right there and choose a high performance NVIDIA. Uh, if you're not seeing this, uh, then you want to add an application. So for me, it would be on desktop basically you're gonna find it uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and add this file here and after that once you will find it just make sure that it is on high performance if this video was helpful make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time bye